Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk about boundaries, behavior and choices today, because in a previous podcast, um, a listener was asking about her sister ghosting her or gaslighting her. And my response was, you can't change her behavior um, and you love her. So when when those two things are realized, the the whole body mind system is in reality and um that's sanity there's and that's and that's the starting point for everything um and what i wanted to do as a follow on from that is look at look at the fact that this doesn't mean everything goes and i think this is really a misunderstanding with this exploration of reality and identity and and behavior because it, it it can become this place where you know oh i'm just love and it doesn't matter and and if someone doesn't do what i ask them to do it's fine because there's no them there's no me it's just all love and but no that's i that to me is is as much about protecting an identity as is going all out to change the world in order that we can feel better because there's two things that I think really interesting for us to consider around boundaries and choice. The first is that boundaries are a function of whatever is understood in that moment, whatever needs to be protected in that moment, and they will change. They'll change by what looks like it has to be protected and defended. So when when i'm feeling really vulnerable and when when the claire identity is is really um fearful anxious feeling deep sense of unworthiness or lack then uh, then there's like a hypersensitivity to other people's words other people's behavior how it how it sort of triggers this deeper sense of lack in me and so it, the, the boundary isn't a fixed thing the boundary is in relation to the vulnerability to what has to be protected and so my reactions you know how like a blocking people withdrawing from relationships going into conflict it's coming from whatever has to be protected in that moment and as, as the whole system gets more and more sane, as, as that vulnerable, fragile ego, which is made of wounds, made of trauma, as that, as that um, comes out of the driving seat, really, as that's understood and integrated, healed, then the boundaries are shifting all the time in relation to that change. And so there'll be less vigilance, less hypersensitivity, less sort of trigger reaction, and there'll be more spaciousness, more, more space to explain, a, a calmer response. Um, and, and really the, 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 the protection of an identity will be less and less necessary. And that doesn't mean that anything goes still not at all and in fact I think what what happens is as that hypersensitivity lessens then there's more capacity to be in the world um more like movement deeper and deeper in more learning more understanding and and actually I th it, for, it's from that place that the most powerful voice our most po powerful voice emerges because because it's not it simply because it's a voice from reality it's a voice of sanity it's um it's it's not a voice of the past protecting the little child it's a voice that is in immersed in reality right now learning right now and speaking up on behalf of of fairness and 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 justice and um and love and peacefulness and everything that will have to change in order to 
um, bring about a world that operates from that space. Um, so this conversation is not about silencing the voice at all. It's not about getting rid of boundaries because the only way ch people's behavior changes is from, um, is from within us. It, it's from our own actions, our own behaviors and what we will tolerate and not tolerate. And as, as the whole system becomes more sane, what what is tolerated and not tolerated becomes really really interesting um and 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 becomes a way to move deeper into the world to see what's really going on so a spiritual conversation is not an ivory tower of i'm i'm exiting the world because i'm so realized i'm so enlightened um it's not a way it's not a means of not standing up for ourselves because we're pretending that someone else doesn't exist. It's a way of going deeper and deeper and deeper in the world and speaking and, and making stands and um, learning, learning all the time. And in that learning, refining the stand, the opinion, the campaign, um, the, the, the change that we want to see and and that's um that's the purpose for all of us yeah yeah so it's good a very good topic lots of love bye